Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to check out my uh, forgotten lens area and I actually have started decorating this quite recently. It's not done because I need to get a lot of iron and um, I'm still deciding on lamps. Uh, but so far I was thinking to share you guys, to share with you guys, oh my goodness I can't English anymore. Uh, what I have done with the place because I feel like this was one of the toughest buyings to do together with the I, I always need to check this um, Glade of Trust there we go swamp I, I, I have no idea what to do with it to be fair yet so yeah this is my forgotten lens and uh, right now we are walking straight into our area where we have fairy godmother's house uh, we have it a bit inspired by pumpkins and the fairy Cinderella. So you will find these a little bit and some pumpkins. Uh, unfortunately, I would love to have tiny mouse statues to make this work even better. Uh, and you will find the carriage with the fitting lamps of Cinderella. And then we get to her house with even more of these uh, pumpkin um, planters. Probably, yeah. Then we will get the lights. Uh, I feel like it looks so much better if they were on constantly. But yeah, uh, this is what we have to work with <laughs> right now. And lamp decision is probably going to stick with this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to fill this a little bit here. But otherwise, uh, the base is done. Uh, I I think I spent a good 10 hours on this, maybe. So bear with me if uh, if I feel frustrated it's not finished yet. <laughs> um, the cart will be over here where you can shop and there is like this uh, woods area behind it. Now part of this biome I feel like is very pumpkin focused. So my little pumpkin friend is over here guarding the pumpkins for all of the birds that are trying to eat them, aka the ravens that are flying around. Uh, some more pumpkin decoration and also we have our fountain. No, it's not a fountain, our well there, which is well. And unfortunately you can't move this, but we worked around it. So yeah, we, we have a bit of an empty spot here still, uh, which is, it's fine. It's fine. It can be empty. We fill it with trees. It works actually. So we're going to keep that probably like this and we get to our next pumpkin lot. Now for the feel, I, I felt like this would fit here due to the lighting change. The color is not uh, like ice as much and it's more like a marble kind of thing so I felt like this was a very fitting situation. Uh, these were also other lamp options I was looking into for this biome. Unfortunately you can't find the exact same lamp as this one so uh, yeah that did not work. It's a different color so if you guys see it's a different color. It's, it's horrible. Um, Otherwise, I had this gate uh, thing, but I'm probably going to move that away. It, it doesn't feel to fit in this um, style. Now, there's a little stall. I'm going to probably put a pumpkin dish in there um, to make it fit with the whole pumpkin theme. My... Um, I'll put this one actually over here because I felt like that would be a good spot and you can like chill at the bench and look at it and be like oh nice aesthetic uh, so yeah that's uh, one of the things that I felt like would fit here now you can cross over here this was the other path that we just skipped uh, that goes past the well and you will have this arch my friends, where you can go through to this area, which we, by the way, see back in the picture with Stitch on the new star path. So yeah, this is uh, one of the main areas here. I felt like this would be kind of a good spot for that one. So I just put that there. 
And then, of course, the festive table with the food and some Cinderella-inspired chairs, the lamp with the beanstalk kind of thing. Um, color, color schematic doesn't fit, but I do feel like the it would fit in the area anyways with the whole Cinderella-inspired area. So, yeah, this so far was my idea. See another lamp here that I had in the first place, um, but yeah, that that one is gonna go over here in the woods. You will find yourself a tiny picnic area with pumpkins, a fall-inspired uh, decor. I think this one is from the Frozen one. Let me check this. The Frozen Collection one. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is actually. Let's take a look. Just a quick check. Yeah, Anna's Picnic set from the Frozen Collection. Um, yeah, I had it somewhere else first, but I actually changed my mind on that one. Um, you can go round it and everything, so you will be able to get back to the path over here. Now, there is a few things that somebody might have noticed. Uh, is the fencing here and there is different. So, the original fencing I wanted to place was this, but apparently I didn't have enough of it. And it requires a lot of iron which I don't have. Uh, so yeah, I'm basically right now grinding iron like crazy just to be able to get all the fencing and the lamps done. So yeah, this is my take so far on the Forgotten Lens. Uh, let's hope that there is no other houses coming because I kind of chucked this one full. Uh, with everything. So as you can see there is different kinds of trees everywhere. It's not just the, the, the empty trees basically or only those like branch thingies. We don't have that. This is a whole new build that I did with everything in there. I am not trying to get uh, special kinds of wood or whatever with this area. I really just wanted to decorate it in a very fitting, creepy woods manner. Um, I think if Beast would get a house, I would probably put it in this area and I probably would put that on this area here where I have a lot of woods area. It's an antique thing. I can move all of this uh, to another spot even if I wanted to. So yeah, this would be definitely the beast's his uh, spot if, uh, if he gets his own house. Bell, I would probably put in um, maybe another biome even. I think I would put her on the forest of Valor. So yeah, my forgotten lens is as good as done other than I need iron for my fences and stuff for my lamps, including topaz, which I don't have as much of. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this is also uh, the area that you will see in my picture uh, dream steps challenge where I literally had just made this when that challenge came up. So I was like, oh, I just finished the area. I just had to get dressed, you know, and it's going to be perfect. The only downside is that I never um, actually got any um, of the thorns in there. Otherwise, it would have been perfect. I feel like if I get thorns in this area, I'm not going to remove it because it would fit so well with the aesthetic. I would only move the ones that I don't want on a specific spot. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my video and enjoyed to see my forgotten lens and maybe you guys get some inspiration of what you can do with it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.